Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another most requested video. So apparently, you guys are facing issues with your CPU, so here is the most efficient and optimal guide for optimizing your CPU. Now this will work on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 OS, so stay tuned, watch this video till the end. Also leave your specs in the comments below for research purposes and just this week we have hit 20,000 subscribers and I was literally crying because it was all because of you guys so thank you so much. Our next goal is 40,000 subscribers but I know you won't subscribe sadly but anyways let's roll the intro. Step number one is creating a restore point and this is really simple. Press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. Then simply locate your local disk C and then click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on ok and then click on create. Now name it whatever you want. I'm going to be naming it CPU optimization. Now we do this step in order to maintain the integrity of our computer. If anything goes wrong, we always have this restore point so we can roll back all the updated changes. Once the restore point has been created, it will show you a screen like this. Simply click on close and then click on cancel. Now let's move with our actual step number one. That is disabling the startup app. And for that, you need to search for startup apps. And over here you'll get a list of all the apps on your computer now make sure to disable most of them because they are not needed now i'm not disabling my uh, bit defender agent that is my antivirus so uh, make sure to disable all the unwanted applications this controls my ram this controls my mouse so we need them while startup because while your computer boots up these application makes your cpu run on a very high usage disabling most of this application will also reduce the consumption of your cpu so just leave a few apps open so just like this there is also another option which is Control shift and escape all together and then task manager will pop up go to startup and then you'll get a list of more applications in here if they are not on that screen so you can use both the ways next thing is enabling game mode and most of you guys are controversial about enabling the game mode many of you guys say it gives FPS boost many of you guys say it gives FPS issues performance issues So there is nothing confirmed yet, but simply go for uh, game mode settings over here and Then simply enable game mode if for any reasons game mode is giving you trouble You can always turn it off Next setting is the chrome setting and this is again a very important one Simply open up the chrome browser and then copy and paste this link over here Now you can find this link in the description below so make sure you guys go and check it out Now once you are here make sure to turn off both of these options because chrome will continue running in the background even if you minimize or close it and you guys know chrome consumes a lot of memory and cpu usage so disabling them off uh, will give you better fps better boost and your cpu will be free for a long time so as soon as i close this browser my chrome usage will go down nextly disable apps from the app bar you see this little triangle thing over here an upright arrow it is the hidden icons and you guys can see all of the applications running in the background so if you find any of the application which is not useful like tb or uh, itop vpn you can simply right click on them and click exit and then they should stop consuming your memory also many of you guys will have steam origin riot client and a lot of other game openers or game service clients so when you're not playing the game you can simply right click and exit them as well Whenever you open up any game, it will automatically pop up. So don't worry, just close them all because they are consuming your CPU in the background. Next step is disabling Edgepad. And Edgepad is nothing but high precision event timer. And again, this is a very controversial thing because a lot of you guys face input delay and input issues with the Edgepad. So again, if this gives you any problem, you can always turn it back. So for that, simply press your Windows key and then search for Device Manager. And in here, go for System Devices and in here you'll find High Precision Event Timer. 
right click and then click on disable device and then click on yes and as always i said if it gives you performance issues you can always right click and then click on enable device to enable this thing last but not the least is the cpu optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below and a lot of you guys always tells me that i am trying to promote viruses and malware well that's not the case here is a simple tutorial on how you can download stuffs from my website firstly whenever you click the link in the description below you'll be popped up to a site like this now once you reach the page like this all you need to do is scroll a bit down and then make sure to click on this red or pink click here to download button now since we have hit 30,000 subscribers i have changed my theme from purple to um red so for some time it will be red and then it will be back to purple again so don't worry about it if there is any password it's on the website so simply click on this button this red button this is the actual button and an ad will pop up just close this one click it again another ad will pop up close it again click it again and another ad will pop up close it and then you will be going to reconize.com and this is a valid link all right so once you are done with both of these tabs simply click on unlock link and then you'll be going to the download page which is mega.nz and if for any reason you can't come to this page or mega nz is banned in your country simply apply any vpn on your browser and then do the same now once you have downloaded the fps pack simply get it to your desktop or anywhere and extract it and it will give you a folder which is named cpu optimization pack by me of course it will have two folders in here the first one is for registries and the second one is for programs let's open the first folder and you will find in five registries over here the first one is for cpu priority second one is for gpu priority and both of these are for scheduling category and last one is for system responsiveness you simply double click and then click on yes and then click on ok apply all of them to your computer And you'll be good to go now if for any reason anything over here goes wrong you always have a restore point to restore all your properties back to the normal once you're done with the registries go to programs in here and you'll find in two folders the first one is islc so this is basically standby list optimization now in the islc folder you'll find in the islc.exe simply right click and then run it as administrator first thing is you have to set this thing up so the list size you should leave it as 1024 and free memory lower than i'm using a 16 gb computer so approximately just multiply it by 1000 and then keep it as your free memory lower than if you guys don't know which memory you're using or what is the memory quantity simply press your windows key and then search for system information over here you have to search for your total physical memory for me it is 16.0 gb so just multiply it with 16 into 1000 that gives me 16000 put it over here and then wanted timer resolution should be 0 0.500 and then just remove everything ahead click on per standby list the next thing is ISLC polling rate. If you have a super low end PC, go for 500. If you have a mid end or high end PC, go for 1000. I'll be going with 1000, click on start, and then let it run in the background. So if your memory consumption goes over the standby list, then it will automatically clear it out, allowing your RAM to perform much better. So I highly recommend you guys to run it in the background. So that's all for this video guys, I hope I could help you. If I did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel since it really helps me out a lot. I love you all, keep supporting and let me know next video ideas in the comments below. Until then, peace out.